Guru Om Tat Sat The Word of the Guru The Life and Teachings of Guru Narayana by Nadraj Guru Chapter 1 Introductory Where is happiness? Where is rest from the fever of life? Where is the image of perfection? Where is the fountain source of wisdom? from which a thirsty traveler can drink where is that luminous something in which we can live apart and be free free from a sense of want and suffering there seem to be some of the eternal questions echoing and re-echoing through the ages within the heart of humanity some think the answer can be found in material comforts some search for the answer in books some sit in meditation trying to tune their life breath in unison with the great knowledge some others scorn delights and live laborious days all these attain degrees of success once in a hundred years solitary among a hundred thousand there arrives at the caravansary of life one at the sight of whose features the seekers instinctively arise from their varied occupations and greet him and see in him and his ways a clear commentary a silent interpretation a radiant center of all that they are seeking he is able to dispel age long doubt and darkness by his words and the hearers smile and for a moment feel a strange happiness literature and art and science grow round his person historical events find a center round which to turn narayana guru was one of such he was one of those who followed in his life the ancient and immemorial program of oriental saints and prophets he left his home in search of truth he lived in a lonely hill cave or forest for years unknown to men performing tapas he emerged from seclusion having solved some great riddle in life and he wanted to give his solution to the world at large therefore without any sort of hesitation whatever he called himself a guru or teacher penniless himself he began to command an influence over rich and poor educated and uneducated people flocked to take the dust of his feet today his words are recognized as a most modern echo of the ancient wisdom of the orient in him we had combined once again a bard who sang about the aspirations of the soul of man a philanthropist whose one aim in life night and day was to devise ways to minimize human suffering and a seer whose daily food and drink was the highest form of truth although out of reach of newspaper men and propagandists this silent sage was the recognized spiritual leader of more than 2 million people in south india to whom his word was more imperative than law within a period of less than a decade he had established more than 100 places of worship on the west coast of india alone which are day by day growing into centers of educational philanthropic and economic activity crowded meetings are held in which his name is the unifying element his message to the people is the subject of weekly comment on many platforms and scores of associations have been organized in various parts of south india to spread his ideals by the spell of his name young and old are seen to join hands in a common undertaking rich and poor are seen to rub shoulders it can be asserted that he has set in motion a force which is bound to spread into a new impetus for the regeneration of india and the world guru om tat sat